Welcome to the Bass Pro Shops Cup Series Round 12 at South Boston. Starting on the pole today is going to be Matthew McMurray, and alongside him is Bill Raymond. And third, Joseph Bryant. Fourth, Kurt Kozlowski. And fifth is Greg Brown. I hear just your lineup. Hunter Stone, CJ Sorensen, Julian Ortiz, Josh Courier, Courtney Simpson. Rounds out your top ten. Then Cole Fralick, Jake Rogers, Justin Muse, Connor Breton, Randy Carpenter, Evan Earnhardt, Zach Buchanan, John Dillon, Ziggy Bain, Brendan Cargo, Colin Cropley, Gino Harvey, Mitch Speed, Trent and Jump in the Scots Colors this week, Ryan Acosta, Andrew Schwartz, Kenny Murray, Christian Janes, Sean Henley, Justin Perry, Phil Jones, Timmy Pacioli, Sean Galligan, Wes McCall, Seth Cole, Greg Jones, Christopher Blake, Chris Summers, Garrett Jones, Danny Wells, Stephen Dillon, and Jake Baskinger. Your Daytona 500 winner starts last. We are joined again by Nick Anderson. And this will be a 51 lap race at this 4 tenths of a mile oval. And coming out of turn four, green flag in the air. Matthew McMurray was supposed to lead him down, but Bill Raymond got a big jump. We've got a flyby out of turn two. And off of turn four, Matthew McMurray will lead the first lap. Looks like the old one wanted to make a move, but yeah, he'll fall back in line. He pushes Joseph Bryan out to the lead, and Bryan looks like he's going to lead lap two. And he does. Nice drag race. Check on the back of the pack here, see how they're doing. Chris Summers, your former champion, is running last right now. That's not good. There's Galligan in the 24 Pepsi colors this weekend. Phil Jones nearly won last week for the second straight time in Michigan, but he wasn't able to after a uh, late race strategy. Ended up putting Gino Harvey in victory lane. Chris Summers might... Oh, oh contact with teammates here. Galligan almost got turned, and, and Phil Jones! Summers all over the place. Somehow they kept it together, though. Andrew Schwartz is in the middle of a three-wide situation up here. It looks like they got it sorted out. Maybe right here, Garrett Jones, he slides up a little bit more than these other guys. Might make a three-wide look out. Harvey and Seth Coley are leaning on each other. It's going to fly by. On the three-wide for last place. And they sort it out. All right, let's get a check back on the front, see how some of these drivers are doing. Whoops. Cropley in the middle, three wide. Breton, contact with Murray. They're still three wide. Three wide, two rows deep now. Looks like they're going to sort this out for now. Yep, they will. Oh, John Dillon hit the wall further back. He just bounced off it, looks like. In the Menards colors. Three wide. And there we have a caution. See what happened. See the yellow flag and let's see skid marks off in one and it looks like Mitch Speed. Oh, Justin Muse in the one. Oh, m more cars are in this. CJ Sorensen for the second straight week has wrecked. Or, well, he didn't wreck last week. He just got hit on the last lap and kind of cost him that win. Hmm. All right, let's see what happened. Here's what happened to bring out the first caution of the day on lap 9 of 51. Looks like the 5 car just got pinched up top. Oh, Simpson nowhere to go, but right into her teammate Danny Wells. And then Justin Muse nowhere to go, Jane's nowhere to go, Buchanan nowhere to go, Jones nowhere to go. Nowhere to go for anyone. And then, oh, this happened further up here with CJ. CJ Sorensen, he got turned around. Oh, and Courtney Simpson takes another huge hit. Oh, looks like she was trying to drive away from the other one and got involved. Oh, right here they went to avoid the wreck. They rode along that wall and you just can't do that at this track. There's that 
gap there on the exit of the corner. Galligan did a good job. Jones did a good job. Rogers wasn't able to get around him. Simpson slams into the back of Stone. Raymond slams into the back of Simpson. Evan Earnhardt hits CJ. A lot of contact was made in the first caution, and they were still wrecking. Stephen Dillon did his brother get into him. Nope. Oh, his brother kind of caused it. Yep, John Dillon got into Cole, put him in the wall. Actually, he never hit the wall. He just got him loose and slammed the inside wall. Wes McCall looks like he did a pretty good job getting around that. Kurt Kozlowski knew where to go, ran into the back of Steven. Same with Seth Cole there in 38. All right. That lap was pretty crazy after a while. There were one wreck and no for, no one for nowhere for anyone to go there and started stacking up. So let's get back to the restart. We're back for the restart. Let's see how they'll look. Restarting off points is going to be Joseph Bryant, then Greg Brown, Randy Carpenter, Ziggy Bain, Josh Curry, your top five, Trenton Jump, Matthew McMurray, Kenny Murray, Colin Cropley, and Timmy Pacioli will round out your top ten. As CJ Sorensen comes into this race, your point leader, he, uh, the lap down there. His car pulls off, and we are green. Joseph Bryan with a huge jump on Greg Brown. Watch a flyby off to it. Make sure everybody makes it. Oh, Greg Brown slides up. Almost hits the wall. Side by side with Ziggy Bain. That's going to be for third. Let's check on the back of the pack. Sometimes we can find some really exciting racing further back here. So oh. Panning out pretty nice. Uh-oh, three wide. They're running three out right next to that gap. You get turned and head into that gap. That's going to be a hard hit. There's no safer barrier at this track because speed's never hit uh, anywhere where it would be bad. Evan Earnhardt slides up. Almost hit that gap there on the wall. John Dillon, Stephen Dillon, brothers side by side. Just involved in that last wreck, but they look like they're doing pretty well. And they look to make it through either with Greg Brown getting a run, or sorry, Greg Jones was getting a run there, but thought better of it. Now the 25 is still maintaining a pretty good lead. Joseph Bryant has pulled out to about a car length and a half, now maybe about two car lengths over Ziggy Bain. Yeah, he got ahead of CJ in the beginning, and that really helped because everybody else had to work around him. And Randy Carpenter is going to go for second. Out of turn four, it's going to be a dead drag race down the front stretch. Looks like Randy's going to get it. Oh, Buchanan clipped the wall there on exit. Julian Ortiz was involved in a crash at some point, and the entire hood has had to come off that 32. Kurt Kozlowski was involved in that crash. See how many drivers retired from the race here. Looks like, oh wow, we only have 33 cars left, which means we have about nine cars out of this race. Well, it looks like they're catching up to 25. The 96 could be making a move in the next couple laps here. And out of nowhere, oh, caution is out. See what happens. Oh, oh CJ. Up. CJ again involved. Galligan got a I think little Galligan piece of should it. Be out the yeah, he should be right. He should be all right. Yeah, Summer's got a pretty big uh, piece of that part. Oh, or piece Kurt of that crash. Another, oh, oh man. Let's make sure nobody else wrecked after the line like last time. Looks like they didn't. All right, they're gonna be okay. Let's see what happened. We are back here for the replay. C.J. Sorensen cut off Kenny Murray and slams the inside while Murray went over on his lid. Huge wreck, and everybody else. Oh, they did a pretty good job avoiding it, but. As you see, the 33 got into him. 20, 24. Yep. Galligan just barely got into the 20 of Buchanan there. And looks like that's pretty much all for that wreck. Looks like we had Kenny Murray, Brandon Cargo, CJ Sorensen, Kurt Kozlowski, Chris Summers, Sean Galligan, and Zach Buchanan all involved in that crash. So let's get back to the restart. We're back for the restart. Let's see how they'll look. Restarting on point is going to be Joseph Bryant, then Randy Carpenter, Josh Courier, Ziggy Bain, 
Greg Brown, your top five, then Timmy Pacioli, Matthew McMurray, Greg Jones, Connor Breton, and Christopher Blake, your top ten. As we go green again, Joseph Bryan gets another big jump here. Looks like everybody else is going to have to work around with 77 and Chris Summers. Ooh, 96 gets kind of close. All three wide. That's not going to work. Two left cars and a driver battling for second. It's way up top. Squeezes in. The, oh, I think there was contact. I think they were leaning on each other pretty much the entire back stretch. They still are. Oh. Stephen Dillon won it last time we were here, I think. Yeah, he did. So it should be interesting to see if he can go back to back. Well, this is happening. The 25 just makes his lead bigger and bigger. Oh, Brennan Carr going pit road. He was involved in a few crashes today. Looks like he might be done finally. There's Julian Ortiz. His hood is off the car, like we mentioned earlier, and it looks like it's not getting anywhere, so that's good for Julian. Not the only one, though. We saw the Chris Summers and the 48 car without a hood. Yep. Check on Garrett Jones here. He had a pretty rough week when we came here in season two. He's having a pretty good run today, solidly running 19th. Three wide. It's kind of a pack here of three three wide racing. Should probably keep an eye on these guys. Oh, they're three wide with lapped cars. Oh, pinched them. Whoa, Pacioli stuck in the middle. Looks like they'll keep it, but who knows for how long? As Connor Breton catches this pack, and he's going to get around Stephen Dillon in the 18. And, oh, Phil Jones hit the wall. He bounced off it, and I don't know if he collected anyone. No, he didn't. But he hit the wall pretty bad there, off four. Might have some tire issues now. Got a good lead of the 25. As the 22 appears that he might be catching up. But not by much. Ziggy Bay and Greg Brown starting to somewhat run down the 25, Joseph Bryant. And check on through the back of the pack again here. Make sure nobody's wrecking. There's Chris Summers. He restarted up in the front as he was a lap down, and he's still losing spots. Running 29th right now. Uh-oh, I think they might try to make it four wide. No, they had it set up to make it four wide but they only stayed double file. And a good choice. And Christopher Blake, new sponsor for this race, Best Buy. He has worked his way to fourth. He's had a quietly good season. Running 15th in the standings. So we have 12 laps to go here at South Boston. All right, a caution right now would put us at about a five lap dash and that'd be a uh, pretty good amount of laps for these guys to bunch up and try to go after each other. And then Ziggy Bain is slightly running down the 25. At this rate, I think he might just be able to catch him. Let's see who ran it faster last time by. And it looks like Ziggy Bain outran him by a tenth. See if Ziggy can catch him. Working a little more on the inside, it seems like. Looks like to be work looks like it's working there for Ziggy Bain is he's running about half a car length. More to the inside. Pretty good. And as long as he can not only catch him, but make a move. All right, let's see the top three this time. The old one might be catching up to Ziggy. Yeah, they ran very close lap times, but actually of the top three, Greg Brown ran the fastest and Ziggy Vane ran the slowest. Joseph Bryant trying to run away to his first win and Ziggy Vane trying to catch his third win. They got six laps to go. Ziggy looked like he caught up a bunch right there. Yeah, really closed in three and four. Yeah, Joseph Bryant ran about two tenths slower than he did last time. And Ziggy Bain ran two tenths faster than Joseph did. Greg Brown. He's on him. This time by it is five laps to go. Who's going to win it? Here comes Ziggy Bain. There he goes. He makes the move. 
Ziggy Bain with the momentum. Can he make the move on Bryant and win this? Side insane. by side. Brown got it, that lap, but looks like Ziggy, yeah, Ziggy pulls away. Ziggy Bain to the lead of South Boston. Can Greg Brown get around Bryant? If he does, I don't think anybody has anything else left for Ziggy Bain. We got three to go. Joseph starting to run him back down. Will he move him? He's got about half a car length. Oh. Two to go. It's only four fifths of a mile. It's the old one looking on the inside. No one can make a move. Greg Brown to second. I don't think it's going to be enough to catch Ziggy Bain. Might be a little bit too, a little too late. White flag waves. White flag for Ziggy Bain. Just a fifth of a mile to go until he wins his third race in the series. Out of turn four. Brown's going to get it, but it's not going to be enough. Ziggy Bain wins for the third time in his career and puts him at the winningest in the Bass Pro Shops Cup Series. And Blake and Courier stay out on the track. They didn't want to uh, be involved in that scramble trying to get onto pit road. A few drivers in the past have run into that pit wall trying to get on. Three wide on pit road. So they not only threw out on the track, they threw out on pit road. All right, let's get to your results. Here's how they finished after an exciting 51 lap event here at South Boston. Winning the race was Ziggy Bain by about a tenth and a half over Greg Brown, then Joseph Bryant, John Dillon, Josh Currier, Christopher Blake, Greg Jones, Gino Harvey, Justin Perry, and Trenton Jump. We'll round out your top ten. Got to give a shout out to Christopher Blake. Said he got a new sponsor in that zero car. Sixth place will really help him out. Yeah, I should really catapult him up in the standings. Randy Carpenter finishes 11th. Garrett Jones, he's had a bad season. Came into the race 41st in points. We only have 42 drivers, so he's really starting to come back as he finished 13th today. Hopefully that should put him up maybe a few more positions up in points. Gino Harvey, we see, got 8th place, I think it was. He was last week's winner. That should still help him out, though. Yep, 8th place for Gino. Let's Good see top if... Top 10. Yep, that might get him uh, a little bit better in points. Kurt Kozlowski was the first one out of the race. As uh, Courtney Simpson ended up 40th, she's had a struggling season. This might bump her down to uh, second to last in points as Garrett Jones had a pretty good run. Bill Raymond ended up 36. He's had a pretty bad season. And Andrew Schwartz almost won that he's on a 500. Looks like uh, Galligan was pretty far off the pack, about two seconds off Schwartz. So after an exciting 51 lap race, it's time for Ziggy Bain to do his burnouts. We'll see you next time. Congratulations Ziggy Bain on his third career win in the Bass Pro Shops Cup Series. Oh, I hit the wall a little bit there. Can't blame him for small track surface. We've seen that in the past. And Jane's won two races in season one. He hit the wall in both of his burnouts, so. <laughs> Nothing new. Uh, I think I heard scraping again. I think you hit it. All right, a job well done today for Ziggy Bain. It was a well-deserved win.